Today I received my order from Loco Works, which is detailing parts for my roundhouse Katie, which you can see on screen here. Um, they do detailing parts for roundhouse at Craft and Mammod. Uh, they also do a lining service, um, and they also you can also buy roundhouse locomotives kits or parts from them as well. Now before I open up or unbox this uh, padded envelope I shall go through what I have bought from them before so we start at the front I bought this lamp bracket which has 10 BA bolts which I drilled and tapped the chimney for that that's quite nice especially with this Swift 16 lamp on there and if you move round to the side, I have got their step overlays. There's just glues all over the top of the round uh, roundhouse foot plate step, and gives an a bit of extra detail. It's got an extra step and rivet details. And then I have also bought from them some glazed spectacles. Which are very nice because from Roundhouse they're they're open. There's no glazing in there at all. And then I have also bought a set of their fire irons, which are very nice. They actually look like look like steel. I don't know if you see that on camera, and they're not. They're brass, I believe. But these are the large fire and irons they do small medium large these are large they fit quite well um, the only problem is the shovel doesn't quite fit inside the brackets there on the key but it just hangs on there nicely like that so um so they look brilliant those fire irons so i'll put that back there so that's what i bought from local work so far so if I bring in what I received today and get my knife, I can start opening up my new detailing parts. So here we go, use my knife and the cuts along here. I can. Okay. First up, I've got some polished brass oil boxes, and these are bought to fit my locomotive. I don't know whether to fit them to let's have a look, the front of the cab for here, but my preferred choice is probably. If we turn this round, if I make up a bracket to fit onto the chassis, it's to fit them around about there on a bracket with the pipes feeding down behind the chassis. We'll bring it up to close to the camera. Hopefully, you can see uh, quite nicely detailed. It's got the nuts underneath. I'll probably paint. This part black and leave the lid brass and the pipes and the gland nuts and leaf brass as well. There we go. So I've got two of them. And then the other item in here that I've got is cap roof rain stripes. Now these go. I open them up. Here we go. So they will fit on to the roof. They? Around there somewhere. Of course, I've got to paint them black, but they're um, they 
got holes in for 10 BA bolts, but I think I might actually glue them onto the roof. Seeing as the roof is curved, it's going to be quite hard to drill. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I think once I've uh, painted them black and fitted them, make the roof a bit more. Um, bit more scale and realistic because we can always have these stop the rain coming into the cab so that's what I've got today so stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my channel and you might see some videos of me painting and fitting these so thanks for watching see you again